Well, my first guest has had quite the year. From Derry, he originally came to our attention performing with the group Celtic Thunder. Earlier this year, he was chosen from over 40,000 hopefuls who auditioned online to play the character of Irish exchange student Rory Flanagan on the hit American television drama Glee. So would you welcome, please, Damon McGinty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, welcome. Thanks for me. One of the great Irish success stories uh, this year, kind of in, in, the, in the world of comedy and drama and television. Well done. Have, have you enjoyed yourself this year? I am absolutely loving every single minute. Yeah. Um, when I think about it, I get tired. It has been... I've aged dramatically. Because yes, um, you're seven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's really quite... I'm seven, yeah, I'm seven years old, but I've got wrinkles and a <laughs> deep voice. But, um, How old are you, Damon? I'm 19. 19. 19. 19. And what, what is the Glee Project? What was it, I should say? Just so we um, the Glee Project was basically a show to, um, to hire new people for the, the, the cast of Glee. Yeah. Um, they did auditions online. They did open calls in Chicago, New York, and Dallas. And, um, and yeah, there was 40,000 that went into it. I auditioned online. Funny enough, six months later, I got a call back from a guy called um, Robert Ulrich, yep. who's a casting director for Glee and the Glee Project. And he told me, he said, you've made the top 83. And I said, happy days, brilliant. Um, but then I had a whole, whole problem with getting a visa. Like an O-1 visa is the biggest pain in the rear. It's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal amount of work. Yeah. Um, it caused a lot of stress. I got it an hour before the deadline. And um, so I went and did callbacks in Los Angeles. Um, made the top 12. We started filming the show beginning of February till mid-April. Yeah. And I had many sleepless nights, many, many tears, many laughs. It was an incredible experience. <laughs> Wouldn't do it again if you paid me, but, um, yeah. but it, was, it was a lot of fun. So when they announced the winner, there was a kind of strange moment. T take us there. What happened? It was, you know, I, me, me in particular, I was through the biggest journey on the Glee Project. You know, I yeah. was never... I was never the, the top dog in the show. I was never the, you know, the favourite to win it. And that was never the case. But, um, but Why not? I, because I, I don't... I was so, it was weird for me because being with Celtic Thunder, yeah. we performed in, um, in theatres and arenas. And I was used to like, performing big. And then all of a sudden I got on this Glee project and we were making music videos. And I was still performing big. And mm. you know, it didn't look good on, on the screen. So, um, so week after week I was in the bottom three, saving myself in sing-offs. But you know, I kind of went on a huge journey where I had to strip the old Damien performer down yeah. and build up a totally new one yeah. whilst saving my behind while doing it, you know. And, um, and it worked. <coughs> the final was top four. We all, did a, we all sang for Ryan Murphy, who's the creator of Glee. Yeah. And, um, and then the four of us were standing on stage and they went to Lindsay, who was a competitor, and said, you haven't won. Went to Alex, said, you haven't won. And myself and Samuel were left standing together, looking at each other, saying, what's going on? You know, where's this, uh, this is a, you know... Somebody's leading us on here. Yeah. But um, he came to me and he says, you know, Damien, you've had a great journey. Um, but basically, Samuel, you've won. So I was standing there, I was thinking, lovely, you know, just, just, just <laughs> brilliant. Um, <laughs> the massive journey, losing weight, putting on her wrinkles and looking very old. <coughs> and, um, and, you know, probably losing a bit of my life. Yeah. And I've just missed it at the last hurdle. But then, um, you know, he said, Damien, you're so special. You've also won the Glee Project. God, that's great. So it was quite, you know, it's a life-changing moment. And really. it was, I presume, once you were there, they, they decided two would win it. And then you're, you're bang, America wants, everyone wants a, a piece of you in some respects. It's crazy. I mean, we filmed it from February to mid-April, as I say. Yeah. I came home knowing I'd won. Nobody else knew. I couldn't tell a soul. Otherwise, you're fine, something like $300 million, which, you know, you're working, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're working for free the rest of your life, yeah. basically, and you're changing your name. But, um, yeah. but so, you know, I came home, couldn't tell a soul. It aired June to mid-August. You told your mum and dad. I obviously. told my mum and dad, yeah. but um, didn't tell my brother and sister. <laughs> Did you? No. <laughs> Couldn't trust them as far as you threw them. <laughs> but, um, but no, so, you know, it, it was announced to the public mid-August, and I started filming a week and a half later. I was really? really right into the mix of it. Okay, so they decided to go for the, the real Irish thing, didn't they, Damien? I mean, they did. Were, they you, did. Were, you, were, you, were you kind of surprised when they saw that, that you were, they were going to leprechaun the whole thing? Um, you know, I, I had a feeling that they would play up the whole Irish thing. You know, being yeah. from Ireland, nobody's... Nobody like that's ever been on the show. Did I see, you know, me dressed up as a little leprechaun coming? No, but, um, but I was willing to go for it, you know. I, yeah. I was a little afraid of the reaction that I would get from back home because, you know, it's a little, 
it's weird, you know, we all know that leprechauns don't exist, but, um... Well, but, you, you know... know. <laughs> but, um, I've seen and met a few little people. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> but, like, I was, I was willing to go for it. I was on Glee. I was thinking, you know, happy days, let's do this. Yeah. Sell, sell it as best as I can. And it's been nice because, you know, Rory has progressed since yeah. then. And, you know, the whole Irish thing's kind of slightly... You know, there's, there's a little line or it's, two that kind of yeah. refers to Ireland. Do you want to see a clip of Damien in Glee, do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, let's have a look at it. Look at it. This, this is lovely. Brittany, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to do dinner tonight. Oh, I can't. I have plans with a friend. And you're not supposed to eat anything but the clovers anyways. So. <laughs> Thanks. It's not that easy being green Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think it could be nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that. Ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> But look, in fairness to you, that song could only have been sung by Kermit the Frog or an Irishman. It's true, it's true. I've never heard of the song, never yeah. heard of it. Well, you did a lovely job. <laughs> what about the accent, dude? Did the Americans, were they okay? Did they understand everything you said? Um, well, as recently as last week before I came home, Leah Michelle just told me that she's just now beginning to understand me. That's Rachel. So, um, yeah. yeah, that's Rachel, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but I mean, it's, it's weird because we all know that sometimes it's hard to kind of go to America with an accent, you know, some people find it really tough. I feel like it's really helped me. Yeah. I mean, you know, sometimes I say words and they look at me like, you know, I've got three heads or whatever. What words but do they always get wrong or have problems with? Well, I say, you know, I go in and I say, you know, all right, guys, what's the crack? I, I seen, I, I met him, I met, I'm sitting here. Please, please, he's got crack. Exactly. He's got crack. <laughs> Funny thing is, we were, we were, um, myself, he loves crack. myself and my roommate were at a restaurant last week and, uh, and we walked into Lindsay Lohan and, and she was there and she says to me, she says, it's her reaction, she went, all right, love. Went, What's a crack, Lindsay? <laughs> <laughs> of all the people. Of all the people, it was the strangest moment. It was yeah, yeah. Weird. Who do you hang out with in the cast? Who do you, who you got grown close to? Um, Kev McHale, who plays Artie. Yeah. Um, all the guys, all the guys are really amazing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really, it's a tightly knitted group. Because, you know, they've been together for three years. I was scared going in, really scared. Yeah. But, um, but you know, they're, they're together every day for over 16 hours. And you have to get along. Have you, no, have, you, no have, you, have you been home since the whole Glee extravaganza? You know, this is my first time. And how, was, what's the recognition factor? Oh, dear Lord, it's, um, it's crazy. Is it? Like, I literally, I went shopping, um, I went shopping once in Derry for presents, and I'm not, I'm not convinced I'm ever going to do it again. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's literally every... Yeah, I, feel, I feel like a bit of a deer in headlights because, you know, there's people turning, looking at you, there's eyes looking at you. Um, people stop you looking for photos. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a good problem to have, yeah. but... Um, but it's, it takes a lot of getting used to. It takes a lot so of getting gonna, used to. You've, got, you've asked Santa for a personal shopper for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, <what, laughs> Me, mommy. You, yeah, your mommy. Yeah. <laughs> Cal the, the Celtic Thunder project. You mentioned that before. That's Phil Coulter's. No, um, I, absolutely. And, and, and Phil's with you this evening. And earlier on, he's obviously taken you under his wing and absolutely and, and, and all that. What what, what 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 age were you really kicked off with that? I, mean? I um Phil got a copy of a really kind of amateur album yeah. I made when I was fourteen, and first thing he did. He managed to ring my dad and said, I want to take your son. I don't, don't know what I'm going to do with him, yeah. but um, I want to take him and I want to, you know, help him grow. And he put me into Celtic Thunder. I was with Celtic Thunder for four years. We did four tours in America, sold over a million albums. Um, and Phil, Phil's the reason I, I am where I am today. Right. He really took me under his wing. I and you finished with that element of your life. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Celtic Thunder, it was amazing. I had such, like, I learned so much, grew so much. And, um, but, you know, I, I felt... Before even Glee came along, I, you know, before I even left, I was considering things anyway because I felt to myself, you know, it was amazing, but I felt that I was ready to kind of, you know, move on to the next level. Yeah. I wanted to, you know, follow my ultimate dream. Um, all the single ladies want to know, um, <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you spoken for? Do you have a, do you have a girlfriend or? Um, yes, you know, I... Jeez, that's a lot of weird answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty strange answer I'm now. Sorry. Um, no, that's it's... Okay. I, uh, yes or no is good. <laughs> I was, I was with an amazing girl for a while, but, um, and you couldn't have got any better. But honestly, my, my career is my girlfriend. I'm not on the market, I'm not off the market, I'm not looking. So um, I'm just really So focused. what are you? 
I, I'm just... What? What just, are you? I'm just a happy soul. I'm just yeah, a happy yeah, soul. Yeah. You don't need anything well, like that. that is, you must have time. I mean, it must be time must be an issue, though. It's madness. It really is. I mean, the schedule on Glee is... You know, I, because before I went, I heard, you know, the schedule on Glee is crazy. Get ready. And I was like, I don't know what to expect. It's madness. What time it's, are you up in the morning for on it? On oh, like 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? Every day. Bed? And bed. You're lucky. Sometimes you're lucky if you're in bed for, you know, midnight. God, that's a long... That's and it's cool. hilarious because whatever way Glee's organised... Sometimes if you, you know, you're on to the next episode the next day, yeah. they handed a script 12 hours beforehand. Gosh. So if you have massive monologues and you're going home at 12 at night and getting up at 5 in the morning, you're in a bit of trouble. So it's, you're it's, in a bit of trouble. Uh, yeah, it's full on then. It's, in it's, that sense. it's crazy, but it's amazing. You know, I'm just honoured and grateful to are be you, are you? Were you looking forward to coming home then for Christmas? To... Couldn't wait. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like, follow my dream. Like, you know, living out in LA, living with my roommate Cameron Mitchell and working on Glee, it's incredible. And I'm honoured and grateful, and I'm just blown away by the chance I've been given. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes I do sit there and think, am I doing the right thing? You know, I'm missing, you know, I don't see my family anymore. I've been home, like, five weeks in the last what do you 15 miss? months or something. What do you miss? I miss, I miss chipper food. <laughs> 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 Nothing beats a battered sausage, a bag of chips. <laughs> you can throw me all American food you want, but you can't beat some crazy sauce, batter sausage, and a bag of chips. <laughs> A true Irishman, true then. Irishman, <laughs> but also it was lovely to meet your your, your granny earlier on, your dad, yeah. and your, your, the rest of your family. So you're obviously tight with the family, and it's we all. are. You know, it's yeah. my granny June, my dad, my mom, brother, sister, yeah, your mom fiance, too. friends. You know, they're all here. They're all supporting, and it's the same. My cousins, my uncles, my aunties back home. Yeah, we're all. They've all really supported me from day one, and I couldn't have done it without them. You know, right. they flew to Canada, they flew to New York. Um, they're really, they're really, you know, behind me, and that's you're, all. That's always nice. That's you're you're nice. going to sing a, a really a cracking song for us now which I'm really looking forward to so uh, what, to tell us what you're going to sing I'm going to sing uh, the song that you know kind of was my last song the Glee Project got me on Glee it's, um, it's a Bobby Darn classic called oh. Beyond the Sea love it well why don't you head over there and happy Christmas thank, thank you, you so much congratulations thank you nice to see you thank you thank you thank you alright Damien alright Damien Damien McGinty there and as he makes his way over to sing for us I can tell you the song which Damien has chosen tonight was, as he says there, the final song he sang in the Glee Project. It has been recorded by many great artists, but most famously by the wonderful Bobby Darren. So, to sing the classic Beyond the Sea, will you welcome once again, Damien McGinty, ladies and gentlemen. ships that go sailing somewhere beyond the sea she's there watching for me if I could fly like birds on high then straight to her arms I'd go sailing it's far beyond the stars on the moon I know beyond a doubt my heart will leave me there, leave me there leave me there soon we'll meet beyond the shore we'll kiss just as before happy we'll be beyond the sea and never again
sailing No more sailing Hey, we have McGinty. Thanks, Jamie.